Hi everyone. I'm sorry about that glitch at the beginning. Welcome to Rosie's Studio Live with Alice Wilkes. Hello. Hi. Nice to be back after the Christmas holidays, which feel like ages ago. So Happy New Year everyone and nice to be back at Rosie's Studio. It's good to have you back. <laughs> um, today we're going to show the three new collections that were released last week. The week before, on the 7th, the week so before. yeah, two weeks ago. Um, we've got three gorgeous new collections that I've been playing with, so we'll have a wee look through some bits and pieces from that, and then I'll show you some of my projects, and then I'm going to do a little tutorial for you all. So um, that's what's going to happen this morning, so it's really good to be here and to have you all here with us. The first um, collection that I'm going to share is probably one of my absolutely fa absolute favorites. I'm in love with all these bright colors of Roll With It. I've had so much fun playing with it. Um, I do definitely love the pinks and the greens and the mints and all those lovely pastel colors, but I've had so much fun with this one. Um, this is like a, I think it's like quite kid theme, like, but it's just fun for adults as well. So I will have a wee look. I've got a few of the bits here to show you. These are the papers. I'm going to fan them out. There's lots of videos um, up on people, our guest designers pages showing this full collection so um, definitely have a look through some of those but look at these papers like such gorgeous colours. I'm so in love with purple at the moment which I know is like people say the Voldemort of the craft world but I as you can see from my nails love purple so this collection is just so lovely. There's just like the mints and the orange and purple and it's just so bright and kind of got a retro feel. It's really fun with the roller skates. We have lots and lots of things in this collection but these stickers so these are the um, cardstock stickers and I'm not yep. sure. They're really, really cool, and there's just such a range. There's like all the little words, some icons, some letters, so you can mix and match all those. Absolutely love these, and to be honest, I haven't actually used them. They're another one of those things that I see, and I'm like, I love that so much, I'm going to use it on everything, and then I just have kind of hoarded it. But these rainbow puffy stickers, there's like the solid rainbows up the top, and then these like... I don't know what you call them, I can't remember what D said, but it's like the strands of the rainbow are all separate so you can like mix and match and play with those however you want. What else have we got? Our chipboard stickers that we have in all the collections almost and they're really, whoop, <laughs> they're great, they're like a thinner chipboard so they're not as chunky so you can layer them up and use them in your projects and these ones have some really cool big words so you could almost use these happy days good vibes relax use these as titles layering pieces like in cards and stuff they're really really fun and look at this little sunshine and cloud it's so cute. puffy stickers there is so many puffy stickers in this collection and it makes me super happy I've got the little icons and there is roller skates butterflies like this little boom box is super super cute um, and just so many fun things. We've got the mini icons. Just move the camera a little bit. <laughs> the mini icons. So there's these ones. And then we've got these puffy sticker like um, phrases. Like in this really cute font. I really love it. It's kind of like a more handwriting. Sort of a bit more of a not quite so. Now I can't think of the word. But it's just a little bit more fluid and fun. Mix and match of like uppercase, lowercase, scripty fonts. All the little sprinkly bits in there, which are super cute. Natalie's saying hi. Natalie Walker, hi. Hi, Natalie. Thank you for joining us. So these are really cool. And you can just see all the colours in this collection are just so fun. And then more puffy stickers. And these ones are great. These are like little um, speech bubbles and like little um, starbursts and hearts. But I love the little, like it's like a title with a speech bubble. And then you can mix like the little icons with like a little speech bubble above them. And I just think that is so cute. And I just love how we always have these great little extra bits. So you've got all the big puffies, but then there's lots of little sprinkly, like the arrows and the hearts and stuff that you can just mix in with them. Might have to take a breath. And then we have more chipboard. So these are chipboard, but they're chipboard um like phrase stickers. So they're like the tiny word stickers in the card. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to share some of the projects I've been making with the new Rosie Studio collections. So we have 
thank you very much. I've got first up here the Simply Charming project. So that is the gorgeous, and I've put the collections way over there. That's all right, I like it. Um, so this is the super sweet collection. It's like Prince Charming, like the little frog. It's so cute. Um, it's like lots of shades of pink and peach and lots of pops of green, which I actually generally don't love green, but I am really enjoying this. I'm using the pink and green and it really reminded me of when my little girl, who I just sent off to university this weekend, was little. I really loved pink and green, like her bedroom was pink and green. So when I found this little picture of her, which was very pink and green, I decided to make a face Facebook layout, a scrapbook layout. So where do I need to be? Like, yeah. That's all right. That's good. I can bring it closer oh, if yeah. you like. So I'm not a scrapbooker. I think I say this every time I attempt to scrapbook. Um, I just go for pretty basic layering a lot of bits of paper on top of each other <laughs> and then add a few little bits. But this made it super, super easy. So I've laid like peaches and pinks and greens over the photo. I've just put a little doily, one of these gorgeous floral clusters, a little tag, a little, just like a tiny little um, embellishment here and just a few little tabs in one of the frames over here. So that is my first project I made and I actually really like it. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And then I made this little project, which isn't really a seriously hard project, but it just really um, highlights some of the papers in this collection. I made a little collection of notebooks for my niece. She loves drawing. Whenever we go out, went out for dinner, she just loves like drawing in little books. So I made a little set of notebooks and I'll pull them pull them all out um, and then I just made this little envelope to send them over to her because she lives overseas so I thought I'd send some little happy mail but I made these using three of my favorite papers from this collection and they're really simple it's just a piece of paper with some computer paper in the middle and I've just stapled it super easy you can make them any size that you have the paper for and I just laid um, some of the little label stickers and some of the little puffy letter stickers to decorate the front just to keep them pretty simple and then I just added one of the other little puffy word stickers over here so they are super simple and I think they're a really cute way of using up all those extra bits of paper you have now I made quite a few projects for this collection <laughs> I went back to um my back to my basics things I used to make all the time and I'll, um, I'll share some photos of these, obviously. These are just little tiny envelopes. I've used a little die. I've put a little piece of vellum in there to look like a letter. And then I've just made little tiny clusters using a punch and some of the tiny little puffy stickers. So I picked all my favorites, like this little bunny. Oh, that's cute. The little frog, this little bunny. So you can see that I've just made a very cute little cluster with some little um, tails over here so these I've used one of the tiny words I've used one of the little tiny puffy stickers and then a couple of the little en enamel dots so I actually use quite a few different bits from the collection and I just use the six by six paper pad to make the little envelopes so they are super cute and I made a heap of them and then because I've pulled out all my old projects I decided to recreate another one of the old projects and these are the wee um, ruffled sort of banner things that I've made a lot in the past and I just picked all the different sort of planar papers to make the backgrounds. I'll get you to hold those up. And then I just layered them with a piece of chill, one of the big flowers from the collection, a sort of a little icon. I've made a little tag here and then I've used a little puppy sticker on this one, enamel dots. So just picking all the little bits from the collection to layer them up and using that piece of chill just gave it a really nice like texture and makes it look a little bit um a little bit more fancy than just layering up paper so i really love how those turned out and i make heaps of them but I, you could use them you could use them on a layout i always make things like this and then be like you know you could just if you had a photo and added something like that that would make a really mm. cute simple layout you could use them on top of like a little bag and like a little bag topper so there's lots of ways to use them or you could just keep them <laughs> in the collection like I seem to do with most things I make. So those are all the projects I have made using Simply Charming and we will share some photos of those shortly online once we've been taking the photographs. 
And we will go back over here. I'll reach over. The next lot of projects I have are made using the gorgeous Roll With It collection. This is a really fun, bright collection. And the first project I made with this really, I just love how it turned out. I um, shared this on my Instagram already oh, wow. because I just love it so much. I made this loaded envelope for my niece. Um, as the mic happy mail to send to her and I'll pull these bits out because I made like a sequin mix and shake it um, in the background there so it's really cute and then I've laid it up with like there's a pocket here where I put a little letter and then there's another little pocket over here so it's just like I've got to use one two three four different papers in the base just to sort of mix and match all those bright patterns I made a cute little dangle charm over here to match love this little kitten it's so cute and i know that this is meant to be like a little friendship bracelet but it's like made it like a little kitten collar and it just i don't know it just makes me so happy i love how this turned out um i used lots of different bits from the collection like the little letters off the um chip not chipboard sorry cardstock stickers a little banner piece just okay. to make this tiny envelope it's super simple it just like there's so many different elements in the collection and then i made another little notebook for her so i just use some of the paper and then I've just stuck on a die cut with some really really thin um, foam tape so that she can just have that and then I will fill this up as I had promised her with lots and lots of stickers because <laughs> she loves stickers um, but I said I would send her some stickers so I just thought that's a really fun way to send that to her rather than just throw all the stickers in an envelope mm. so that is super cute. And then I made really fun other little oh, sorry guys another little project. I made this little mini tag flip. So um, there are so many fun little tags and stuff in the die cuts for this collection that I just picked some of my favourites and made them into a tag flip. So on the front I used one of the little chipboard hearts and I just backed it with paper. So I just stuck some of the six by six paper on the back and trimmed around the outside and then popped. A little eyelid up there so you can make it into a charm and that's a really fun way of using the chipboard stickers or the puppy stickers if you just back them or use powder to take the stick off they're a really fun way to add like little charms and stuff to projects so they don't just have to be used as stickers and i'll just go through because i just took little tags from the die cuts and i embellished them so i pop it, popped a little ring reinforcer used a wee sticker Pop this super cute little camera on the front there and then put like a little chipboard piece sign to like give it even more dimension. Use one of the flowers as a little tag. So this is just one of the die cut flowers and I just punched a hole and used that as a tag. Another little Polaroid sort of frame from the die cut. So anything that I thought looked big enough to go on the tag flip, I punched a hole in it, <laughs> added some details like stitching or stickers or something else. Even this really cool frame. So this is just like a film strip um, from the die cuts and I just popped that right on there and I think that looked really cute. Um, this is a little envelope so this one here isn't from the collection but it's just an envelope so it's a little envelope I already had. I just decorated the front and then I can pop some little goodies inside there. So I just put the thing on the bottom, obviously the envelope should go that way. What else have we got? Another little tag. And then this is just a little um, paper bag, like a little gift bag, and I've just popped some little sequins in there in yeah. a little, um, what's this called, like a little glassine envelope. So that's really simple and cute, but it's just using bits from the collection and then adding your own little extra bits on the top to give it some dimension. And another project. <laughs> <laughs> So many. Like, yeah, I've got, I actually have done quite a few. It was nice to sort of get back into it and start creating again. And a lot of these projects are things I've made in the past and I just remade them using these collections because I find that's a really good way to sort of reignite my creativity because it's something I feel comfortable making. I can just change it up. So I made some more sequins. I've made these little vellum shakers, which I'm going to show you how I made in a tutorial. Well, not show you how I made the shake a bit, but I'm going to recreate these and show you how I did them. So they just have a wee ruffle and then a little um, embellishment cluster. And then I've used some of the tiny word stickers from the cardstock stickers and the chipboard stickers. So just different dimension. Very cool. And you can see. Bring one up close. Oh, yes, that's good. <laughs> 
quite fun looking at them through with the ring light because you can see right through the sequins. It looks really cool. So as you can see with all these, they're just batch created. I've done the same thing basically on each one, but with a different icon, like or a different sticker. So I've made those all at once and they worked out really well. And one more lot of projects. I'll just move that off to the side, move this off to the side. These are my projects using the one of a kind collection, which I've got some of it over here as well. This is another gorgeous collection. So we've had three collections released recently. Um, two weeks ago so they're all out there people have been buying them and using them and I've seen lots of projects with people making them so it's really cool to see what other people are doing okay this is the first thing I made which is this little um, chipboard album so I made that using chipboard and I've just wrapped some plain paper around it but in the front I made like a little shaker frame so that I can as you can see it's got the gorgeous um, this is one of my most favorite things, this sprinkles. So this is the sprinkles from the collection. It's got like sequins and like little fine sort of almost like fairy dust kind of sequin things. Polymer clay butterflies, so cute. So I put that inside this shaker, put a little um, puffy uh, sentiment yeah, sticker, sentiment <laughs> like, what's it called? <laughs> and then just laid up a whole lot of flowers. So that's really cute. And then in the front here so I was inspired by a Sue's Fish video that she showed that she'd made and I basically recreated what she made but using this collection so it's got a little pocket in the front and in this pocket I just put a little embellished tag and then a little embellished envelope so they can be filled with goodies or journaled on whatever you want and I'll just show you the back and then I will show the little notebook in the middle so this is a double pocket in the back just embellished a little bit and then I just made a couple of really basic tags covered in vellum. And are those from the 12 by 12 Alice? Yes, so I cut the 12 by 12, ugh, 12 by 12. So these are the strips that were left over when I made this little notebook and then I just rounded the corners and then popped some vellum on the top. So I used the 12 by 12 paper when I'm making like tags and stuff just because mm. it's a little bit thicker. But um, you could do those with the 6 by 6 as well and I'll pull this out so I can show you a little easier. I put a little like traveler's notebook um, elastic in here so I've made a wee notebook to go in here um, this is using the 12 by 12 paper I think it's about I would say about four by five it's or maybe a little bit smaller it's quite tiny but I've just laid one of the big die cuts a little puffy butterfly and I've just made this using papers from the collection and some plain paper so just little pockets little clusters this is just like a little sort of like junk journal kind of notebook that someone can add their own information to. I love this. I love adding little like pockets and envelopes and little bits where you can tuck spaces in. Lots and lots and lots of detail in here, but just using all different bits, little bags, little tags. Just like lovely little things like that. So I just think that turned out so cute and all the pastel colours in this collection just all go together so well. I attempted another little scrapbook layout. This one is very tiny and I have very limited photos that I have printed out to use so I need to go and print some out. Um, but I just loved how simple this was. I just loved this little tree. This little is one of the chipboard frames from the collection so I didn't even have to do anything. I had a little photo, it fit in the frame perfectly and then I just laid it up with, this is an envelope, a tag from the collection, puppy stickers, some enamel dots and a little doily and it's just such a sweet and simple layer and I just used the 6x6 paper for that. Two more projects. <laughs> These are once again going back to some old projects I used to make and I will one of them up close. These are just little um, medallion sort of things. It's a three inch circle. I put some, uh, what's it called, chul on there and put a sequin mix and then layered some little bits on the bottom. So they're all the same. I used the gorgeous, gorgeous, um, these butterflies. I absolutely love these um, layered butterflies. They've like got two layers. So this one is just the clear layer at the top. It's not actually the sticker. So I pulled the front off these to just have the one layer because I didn't want it to be attached all the way and they come apart easily and that's almost like two for one stickers so can't complain about that <laughs> and then I just used one of the little tiny words 
some of the enamel dots and then the butterflies and I think these turned out super sweet. That's a great idea to take the top off the butterfly like that. Yeah, and yeah. you can see... And then you, you're able to use the bottom of the butterfly yeah, for something else. you could. Um, I don't know where... Oh, here. So you can see here, here's some of the butterflies that are cut apart. If you just peel that off... Okay, I've peeled that one off too hard. It's actually pulled the bit. But see, you could just put a little something Center. in the middle and you've still got the things. The other ones that I pulled off didn't pull off. I must have just pulled that one a little bit hard. But yeah, so you've got two in this middle bit and the back are both completely usable. And I really love the colours. And I think having the single layer, all, like this is lovely. But just the one layer, it's almost lighter and it just looks, looks really nice. So, yeah, you can see they've just got the single layer. And then the last project I made, and to be honest, I just felt like this was something that you know, sometimes you make things and you just don't love it, but I did love the idea of it. Um, I used the packaging from the butterflies to repackage some little medallions that I made. So I just laid up some skillet circles with some gold and some other um, paper from the collection, stitched them and then added little bits. But I love how I just have repackaged those into the packaging. Let's pick them up a bit closer and just so that's a perfect way to gift those to someone and even when I showed Archer my son he was like oh is that how they come I thought that they were already there like it just makes it a fun way and because this is quite dimensional it's a really cool way to pop things in and not just throw the packaging in the rubbish bin so those are all the projects that I've made and we will photograph them and we will be sharing them so you can have a closer look but if you have any questions leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them for you We are now in the overhead view, so I can show you how I make these little um, vellum shaker cards. Um, but first I will sort of try and recreate and show you how I make these. So these are just like paper ruffles. I make them all the time um, and I stitch them, but you could just use glue or whatever to stick them together. But I thought I'd just try and show you, try being the, opera, <laughs> the right word, um, how I create them because... As you can see with these ones, they're all pretty, not the same, but I go, you know, fold it up bit under, under. So I'll just try and show you how I do it. Um, so come in a little bit, maybe an inch from one side. And what you're going to do is you're creating like a, what do you call that? Like a Z, like a zigzag. So you're going, folding towards and then folding back to create a little, I'm sure there's like a word for that, but I don't know what it is. Concertina. <laughs> Concertina, that's it. <laughs> Like, there's an official word and then I want that to be like that but then I'm going to create another one going back that way so this is something that if you just have bits of paper my strips are one and a quarter inches wide you can do them thinner or thicker cut a whole lot of bits of paper and then just practice just keep going because it becomes natural but sometimes I'll go to do it after doing like 10 of them and it won't make sense and they mm. won't fold so you're just practicing then you want to do another little concertina and then another one so you want like sticking out bit and then two like that so if you look at it that way you can kind of see how I've done it and when I go like that I just stick it down and then I stick it in my sewing machine so I zigzag back and forth not zigzag stitch back and forth and then I just cut a little notch using my scissors and I haven't given you a measurement this way because I just kind of eyeball it and then I'll hold it over my project and then I'll be like oh I can cut that much off the end and then that's how wide I sort of want it to be to fit on here. Um, but if you didn't have a sewing machine and you have glue or a tape runner, you could do it like by just putting some tape in there, folding it. I mean, it's going to take a little bit longer because you're going to have to do it on each side. But see, that's stuck down just the same as that. It just doesn't have the stitching detail on it. So totally doable without a sewing machine. I just love sewing things as we know okay so I'm going to just show you I take one of these we'll just do show you here and then pick a little one of these I just layer them in the bottom third I guess of the thing this one you can flip it this way I kind of like put my embellishment cluster on top of the little sticking out bit but you can do however you want and I'm just going to stick this on with um, my tape runner for this tutorial but probably when I'm at home I'd use like some strong double-sided tape but I just always find that really hard to peel off in a video so we'll just adhere 
your um, ruffle on however you best, um, whatever adhesive you use. I wouldn't use wet glue on vellum because it would warp the paper and probably wouldn't stick that well, but yeah. So what kind of glue would you use? Um, I would use this red tape. So this is um, strong double-sided tape. Right. It's really strong. I, you could use you could use this. Like this has stuck it really well. But if, I, if you weren't sewing the envelope, would you use that double-sided? Yes, I right. totally could use double side like a thin double-sided tape. But if you wanted to, use that paper. You could just um. Where did I put the paper? Oh, here. So say you were making it and you folded your piece of paper in half and then we cut this so it was, this is very rough. So you've got like a little pocket and then you fold this here nicely. I just put a little <laughs> bit of double sided tape along the bottom and then a little bit along there and then some in the top to keep it or maybe you'd do it actually you'd probably do that way fill it up with sequins and then stick that down so it's almost like an envelope. The thing with vellum is you can see through it so whatever adhesive you use unless it's like a special I know there is some special vellum double sided tape but um, you are going to see it but it doesn't matter it's handmade it's not meant to look perfect I think that's just why I always stitch vellum right. because I think it looks nice. You could use um, like a little plastic bag like say you had one of these you could Fill that with sequins and layer on that and you could still see the sequins through. Just You could do it with just plain paper and embellish on the front. I just love the sequins because, as we know, I'm addicted to sequins. <laughs> I love them on everything. <laughs> so I try and use like the best adhesive I can. Like if, when I pull out old projects, generally they're all still stuck together. If you use like just some cheap adhesive, it will deteriorate over time and won't stay stuck so if you want your projects to be really sturdy and last I would just use the best this stuff's really good it's a permanent adhesive and like that is you know I could pull it off but right. I think it's going to stick on there pretty well using that okay so layer a little um why have I lost all my words today a little <laughs> Ruffle? A ruffle. That's and, yeah, what ruffle. I was yeah. And then I'm going to take one circle, one circle, and a gold one. So as you can see in this one, I've just laid up three little dots in a random order. I am going to use some foam tape. So this is quite a thin tape spec. It's really good um, double-sided foam tape, but it's really, really sticky. So once you've stuck it, it's stuck, and it ruins your scissors because... It's so sticky, so. And that's the thicker twelve by twelve paper again. Yes, isn't definitely. It? So I, most things, I make that are that I want to layer or I want to stick something on. I would go with the twelve by twelve. Just right. it's thicker. Like this paper, the six by six is great. It's perfect, like for sticking, like making notebooks and stuff. But this right. is just it's not thick, thick. I don't know what weight it is. It's. I think it's 180 you would probably know. GSM. 180 <laughs> GSM? GSM? Yeah. I'd have to check. Yeah. So it's not like cardstock, but it's like a quite a sturdy um, paper. So yeah, I definitely... But then actually in saying that, sometimes I love the like mini... Like the... Um, the smaller pattern. The smaller pattern. So when right. things are tiny, like those little butterflies are so small that cutting a circle out of that might actually work better for a project so if I want to sometimes I layer them you could right. layer it on yeah, a piece it, of paper back, yeah, it, with back it with something else if you need that sturdy because I noticed you made those tiny little envelopes did you make those out of the six by six because they're so small um some of those I did right. but some of them I, you could still use this right. but it just sometimes the six by six paper when you die cut it not die cut is fine but punch because it's thinner it doesn't always punch as yes. clearly so yep. sometimes I just sort of go with whatever I've got. But I tend to, when I look back through my um, leftovers at the end of projects, I have used both 6 by right. 6 and 12. I guess I just go with what works. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes when I'm folding things, like making envelopes, I use my folding, you know, my scoring tool to fold. Yeah. I would use 6 by 6 because it's thinner and it folds nicer and yes. it sort of sits better. So yeah. I guess you just sort of start working out what works for you. Right. I don't, yeah. And if you only have the 6x6 six six or you only have the 12x12, 12 12, you can totally 
make that work. So I'll just grab another piece of this. Is I layered this one with some double-sided tape in between and then that one I just stuck on. I don't want it too dimensional, but I do like having a little bit of dimension. But as you can see, this tape is not, not my friend. And then I just stick that on this like bumped out bit. And then that, like even that, so cute. It looks great. <laughs> and then I'm going to pull some bits over. And I haven't actually pre-planned these, which anyone that's watched my videos before, I'm not very good at just pre-flowing. <laughs> but we'll give it a go so i pulled out all kinds of things from this collection i've got some gorgeous little die cuts some of these die cuts are a bit bigger for this size project so i mean the little bird super cute some of these little bits but what i think i'm going to use is this little squirrel perfect so i picked the little squirrel i want to put it off to the side so you can see some of that gold And I'm going to bump it up a little bit to just um, give it a bit of dimension. See these ones I've just used the little die cut, so you can do whatever you like the look of. And obviously, the thing, not obviously, sorry. One of the things I love about the Rosie Studio is that all their die cuts, there's such a range of sizes. So you could, you know, big giant ones could work if that's what you like, or there's like little teeny tiny ones. There's not just big ones or just little ones, and you have to decide. I'm gonna double that one up actually. You know, there's something you can use for all the different size projects. And I'm just gonna pop this little squirrel on here off to the side. So I've just sort of pushed everything like side, not like I'm not sticking them in the middle. So it's kind of just giving it a bit of space. And then I used on these some little um these gorgeous like i've just i think i've used like a whole packet of these almost already um little enamel dots or the little hearts so you could put like i just want a few little sprinkly bits so a little heart and then Just adding some little bits on the side there. So it's just like, this is little, this is sort of just like taking up the space on the side and you can just move things around over here. And I just love how that looks. Like I love the little sprinkly bits, I love this. You could put some little words over here, but I'm just gonna recreate this, which is where I put a little tiny word sticker up the top. And <laughs> come over, I'm such a messy crafter. Um, I'm going into these gorgeous cardstock stickers and I'm going to pick this one. So I can't really explain how I pick, you know, which ones I use because there's always so many different sizes and fonts and like sizes of these. Like look at all the different fonts. There's like little tiny ones. Sometimes when they've got like little font like this one I will trim the sticker down so it's a bit smaller you don't have to use it just how it is on here you can just make it your own and then I'm going to get one of these um and do you like look at the phrases and kind of get ones that match, yeah, match together yeah that's like <laughs> more about that shape <laughs> I like like I'm trying to pick something one of a kind so very special I feel like they go together they're kind of saying like a nice little thing but yeah you could that's the thing, like you want, it's how, it's like there's so many things, like I'm like, I want this colour, but these are the choices, so you're like, I'm just sort of picking and matching, and they're all such nice positive things, so all I'm trying to go for is just a lovely we a wee saying on there, so one of a kind and so special goes together, but you've got like these different fonts, there's so many that you can pick from, so that is one, so simple, that's just how I do it, but I will, should I do another one? Well, now you've said it, you kind of I feel have like to. I have to, yeah. Let's do one more, because we'll do <laughs> one. That's a little bit... Um, do one faster. One more, I'll do one faster. Happens. Okay, yeah, I don't have to explain everything that I do. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I like all the strings on these. You can obviously pull them off. This one will go to the other side. Okay, and then... Always, like, such a tough decision as to what papers I'm going to put together, because I love... I always have favourites, like you must do too when you design oh, collections. Like definitely, this yeah. is my paper that I use. Like I love this. I don't even like orange, but the gingham with the like little pink stripe. I'm like, I've used so much of that paper. It's definitely a favourite. 
and because I make little things I find I use more of the plain papers than yeah. the big like cool like that's why I loved making those notebooks because I could use the the big patterns the bigger patterns which I find hard to use when I'm making little mini things so we just layer that up I've got some tape over to the side here which is what I keep running over um and you could use like that fun foam, you know, like kids Eva Eva foam, and just a, a, use adhesive on the back. You don't have to have foam tape. foam tape to make it make dimension. You could use folded up bits of paper, sometimes or cardboard to add dimension in between layers. So don't feel that you have to have this specific foam tape to make it work. So there we go. So I've added a little layering piece, and then on this one. What am I going to pick? It's interesting to see you do everything as sort of asymmetrical instead of all centered. Centered, yeah, and I always seem to go off to the side, I like think all it my works yeah. really nicely. And you can see, like, um, on these ones, it's like a very similar. It seems to be my thing. Like you can see, I've just used different punches, but layered three punches, popped a little thing, added some bits off to the side. I think, yeah, you're right. I must like that seems. I don't very often put things in the middle. No, I nice. think it looks nicer. Yeah, it just feels more balanced yeah. to me. I, I would put everything in the middle, and yeah, I'm watching you do it, thinking that's such a great idea, yeah. and I might try and do that. And that's why it's fun, like, I like watching other people, because I would be like, this is just my... I almost feel like sometimes when I craft, it's very, like, a, like rules. Like, I do this, I do this, I do that. But it's just because when I go freestyle, I'm like, it doesn't always work yeah. out quite how I had imagined but then like this one you could do something different and I'm it may not work but say you've got this little stamp and I love postage stamps because they're almost like um you can layer things on them they're like a like definitely I see postage stamps as a layering like I could put another little bit on top oh my gosh I did my nails and now I can't pick anything off okay so yeah so put that sort of, or maybe off to this side. And then you could even put, oh, I just love this so far. <laughs> the squirrels are so cute. Anyway, but even like this little, or maybe even like a, but like, oh, I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. Oh, but this, like this, like you can actually do that. I need a little bit more tape. Um, Putting tape in between things like, I think, and I hear like the professionals talk, creates like shadows beneath mm. the thing and then it gives it dimension and then I just feel like it looks a bit more interesting. You can just stick everything on, that still looks cool, but I just, yeah, I like adding a bit of interest. Gosh, I need to get us something that pulls the tape off. And um, these are obviously just my ideas of layering things and there are so many things in the collections when I sort of make projects I see all the things and I'm like oh my gosh I forgot to even open that because I like got so excited by all one thing and it's really done well. okay so I'm just put that like on there and then Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just like adding little bits of interest using these little dots, always dots, all the little um, I love these, like there's little enamel dots. Can you see enamel dots in all of the new ones? There is this one there. There's often the enamel dots, not yeah. always. In there's these three ones there is, and they're so like, they're little, like saying like you always I struggle to use the big ones but having so many right. these like big ones are still quite small compared to some and I loved how that has so there we go so I've just added a little bit added that little puffy just you can add like so many layers of extra bits in there and then this one so we've got this like big love your smile and I want to add Hmm. <laughs> but even like just this little one here. 
So there are so many stickers on this sheet. You could be making these for ages. And I'm just going to try and lift that up a bit so I can kind of tuck that in a little bit. Oh, I can't do it. So many. I think I need like tweezers or something. Sorry, guys. <laughs> not straight and things like that really annoy me but like that so you've just added like the dimension you could just do two stickers like you don't have to do both I just love how it adds a little bit of a pop you could I love these big bigger ones but I also love the little mini clusters move so, this one down this one yeah there we go into the shop cold oh. so there we go you could just if you didn't want to do the zigzag banner you could just have a straight piece under there like you'd could just layer a couple of strips of paper, a couple of paper scraps, and then make a wee embellishment. This could be a square or a heart. I just use circles. So you can just see it's almost like a formula of creating, like, little cluster. Put a little thing up there. Like, it's just, you can make it your own. You could add little enamel dots up here. But these are the ones I created, and I just thought I would give you guys a look behind the scenes to show you how I did it. Thanks so much for that, Alice. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll come and answer them later. And if you make some of these, oh, um, yes. put them up yeah, and tag, tag Rosie, Rosie Studio. Studio in there. It'll be Rosie Studio with the two S's. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask. Yeah, no, and, 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 and it's really great. And I have noticed, lot, like, you know, so many projects people made do get shared. So I think it's really nice if you create something then other people can see it and get inspired. So yeah, definitely tag us if you make some of those. Thanks for watching. Thanks. See you later. Bye. Bye.